Season X is here, and changes have been forced upon us once again. With giant robots of destruction and so many of our favorite items being vaulted, just how do you deal with all this change? And what's new that can help us out in-game? What's up, everybody? Once again, it's your guy, Keith Allen. And uh, connect with me, follow me on my Instagram. We got a lot going on. So this video, we're going to be all about those tips that are going to help you win more games this season. You know, most of the questions that I receive on my Insta is, how do I win more games? Well, listen up. We're about to get into that right now. So most of the stuff we're going to talk about today are going to be specific to this new season, like ways to counter brutes and dealing with less available mobility. We want you guys to make Season X your season. Who believes that? Who believes this is their season to break out? Well, we believe that for you guys. So let's get ready. Let's get confident and let's do this. Oh man, almost forgot. Ooh, that was a close one. If you want to jump around in some brutes with the skill Fortnite coach, hey, we got you. Head on over to InstaPro on ProGuides.com to find out how you can sign up with one of the best coaches in the game. If I were you, I would run over to do that. Brutes. They're the most talked about part of the season. And it's just, well, let's just put it this way. It's not a good talk so far. Capable of essentially insta-killing players, this new two-seat vehicle of pure destruction has managed to gather a lot of negative attention so far. The season has just begun and Epic Games has already hinted at a nerf. Wow. Rest assured that the developers will nerf Brute, soon due to a lot of players filing a complaint. Developers said on Reddit, it might also be removed from competitive modes. Thank God. Seems like Epic is finally listening to his competitive players for once. I just think all the comp players should give Epic a big hug. But until the official nerf hits Fortnite, let's just talk about how you can currently deal with this crazy update. With how powerful they currently are, taking control of one can be really beneficial. Even though it's a two-seater, you can make good use of them in solos. All you need to do is just swap between the driver and the gunner seats between your shots. However, they're usually contested, easily spotted, and are usually focused in firefights. If you manage to get control at one at some point in the game, that's great! But with how contested they are, you might actually be better off landing somewhere more remote if you're trying to win the game. Think about it. That way, hey, you're gathering yourself a kit with great loot while other players are destroying themselves over the brute. Hey, I just rhymed. <laughs> that was cool. Anyways, but you still may run into one of the more successful brute chasers. If you're having trouble dealing with brutes, here are a few different ways you can counter them. All right, so first, if there's only one player inside the brute, you can hop in and hold the detonate button for a second to initiate a self-destruct. This will force whoever is inside to jump out or risk being blown up. Getting close enough to pull this off can be very difficult, so we only recommend this method if you're somehow, someway, nearby already. Protecting yourself by building walls and floors against the rocket attack of the Brute can be next to impossible to pull up. Okay, Epic, can you answer this for me? <laughs> I just got a question for you. Why would you make building, one of the fundamentals of your game, pointless against this thing? I'm waiting, Epic. What's your answer? You know what? Don't answer. You know why? Because there's an old trick that you can use to protect yourself with a single build piece. If your ping is low enough, under 50 or so, one way to consistently build protection against their rocket fire ability is to use the cone piece. Yes. Assuming the ground is level enough, you can place a cone piece over yourself and hide in it while turbo building at the ground to completely negate all the damage of the brute. Then, in between this reload, you can edit out and go for some shots. You just need to make sure you're only building cones and there are no cracks or else this is just not going to work. You think the best counter to a giant mech would be something like explosives or heavy machine gun fire, right? But what ends up working out the best are boogie bombs. When ballers were still around, boogie bombs were given the ability to eject the driver out of the vehicle. That same function still exists, so you can just throw a boogie bomb at a brute, forcing the occupants out to dance. Then you can either just close in for the elimination or just take the brute and leave. It's usually better to go in for the kill, that's what I would do, but if they start to turtle, hey, build high up or play really defensive in another way, and that would also be an option. We're not sure if this mechanic is even intended, since the patch notes this season say they removed the Boogie Bomb's ability to penetrate vehicles. Hopefully, they don't remove this function without nerfing the mechs first. But until they do, Boogie Bombs are definitely worth holding on to as they can lead to free kills on Brute users. Did none of that work? Okay, well, alright. Another way to protect yourself against Brutes, as lame as this may sound, is to just avoid them, okay? Just, just avoid them. If you encounter one in a fight already, you can just probably get away with third-partying it. They'll probably be distracted by another target, allowing you to land some easy shots on either the mech or the gunner. When a solo player is controlling the weapons on a brute, they're exposed and they can't move around, making it extremely easy to land hits on them. 
But usually, guys, fighting a brute one on one is really difficult. Too difficult. Those rockets just deal way too much damage and are just too tough to avoid damage from. Plus, the mech has 1000 HP so they can just tank on a ton of shots before they blow up. If you do happen to have a barrage of missiles launched towards you, the best thing that you can do is run. I'm sorry, not trying to be too dramatic. I'm just saying, watch Forrest Gump, you'll get it. So guys, do your best to move into a different position as makes this avoiding the rockets much easier. Sitting still inside of a box is the last thing you want to do against an incoming missile attack. We all know this. Are there any counters we missed? Leave us a comment on how you've been dealing with Brutes so far. Proper positioning has always been a key factor to success in Fortnite. I've told you many of that on my Insta. But in Season X, it's going to be more important than ever. We saw mobility in the form of the baller. Quad Crasher, Flint Knock Pistol, Shadow Bombs, Glider Redeploy, Sky Platform, Slip Streams, and Volcano Vents all get vaulted. With so many mobility options having now be removed, there are just not a lot of fewer ways to traverse the map and escape sticky situations. Thinking in advance about where you're going to position is more important than ever, guys, to avoid being caught out in a bad spot this season. So, good positioning can be described in a few ways. Being in the center of the safe zone, for instance, gives you a better chance of being close to the next zone as well. If you're able to, set up somewhere that has some natural elevation and is close to the center of the safe zone. That way, you're already controlling the high ground should a player try to contest you. One problem a lot of players are experiencing now, guys, is having to deal with the storm at the start of the game. Whew, that is annoying. While it sucks to not get circle favored at the start, dying in that situation usually means that you didn't rotate early enough. Don't try rotating at the last second when you're barely outrunning the storm. I hate that. You'll be more likely to run into other players doing the same thing if you do that. And if a fight starts, well, you usually don't want to be fighting players when the storm is right behind you. It has time to catch up and then you end up in the position you don't ever want to be in. How many of you guys have experienced that? We know that there are other objectives in the early game like opening chests and farming mats. However, if you're trying to avoid storm fights and early deaths, try rotating sooner than you normally would. That will definitely, definitely save you. If the zone is really far, give yourself at least a minute head start before the storm moves. You might miss out on a bit of loot, but hey, that's all right, you're in the game. It's better than the alternative, which is getting into an awkward storm fight that ends in disaster. So, even though overall mobility is down in Season X, here are some map fixtures, new and old, that are going to help you with your rotations. First, there are new rifts. There's one in the center of Loot Lake. You just need to jump into the big glowing orb in the middle and you'll get rifted. This one has unlimited uses, so you can just always take it when you're in the area. Another new rift spot is located near the frozen lake where Greasy used to be. A few rifts can spawn here, just north of the frozen lake, next to the Stonehead. These were originally here in Season 5, but haven't been around since then. Hopefully that means more rift spots similar to this one will pop up around the map throughout the remainder of the season. In terms of mobility that's still around, the rifts from Season 9 are still there. Those are the ones in Paradise Palms, the ones by the Dur Burger outside of Pleasant, and the one on the snowy island south of Happy Hamlet. When you're rotating, always check to see, guys, if these rifts are up so you can just take them and just make your journey a bit easier. Then, of course, Pressure Plant turned into a giant air vent near the end of Season 9. That's still there, and other than drift boards, it's going to be the main way to rotate out of that part of the map. Since ballers and quad crashes got removed, other than the mech, drift boards are the only usable vehicle this season. They're going to be a big part of rotations now, so make sure you know where they spawn near your favorite landing spots. Also, don't be afraid of using them if you need to get into the next zone quickly. Just make sure you don't slow down on them too much, or else you could end up an easy target. The peppers are still in the desert part of the map. They can give you a small speed boost. But uh, can I be real? These peppers are pretty hard to find, and they really don't help out that much. But hey, if you happen to be running in the desert, just remember that they're there so that you can boost your speed for a bit. It was only the big slipstream around the map that got removed, so you can still use these to rotate a bit faster when you pass one. If you're worried there isn't enough mobility on the map, don't give up just yet. With how much the map is supposed to change throughout the season, we're sure, guys, plenty more mobility options are going to show up for us to use. It's just that there probably won't be as much as there was in previous seasons. In conclusion, my friends, being inside a brew can be advantageous if you want to play aggressive, but they're way more contested than they're actually worth, okay? So you're usually better off not going for one unless the RNG gods spawn one near you. There are several ways to deal with brutes, but you're almost always better off not fighting them one-on-one. -on -one. Instead, try to engage on them while they're already fighting. If a brute is forcing the fight to you, try to keep your distance as much as possible and lay in rifle shots when you can. 
When rotating, always plan in advance when you need to go. Since there's a lot less mobility to bail you out this season, not paying attention to storm timers and safe zones can often end up losing games. In general, near the center of the safe zone on some high ground is a great position to be in. All right, guys, once again, it's your guy, Keith Allen, and looking forward to hearing from you on my Instagram. We got a lot more coming out to you soon. Pro Guides.